My name is Adrian B. Seth Nelson. I'm a retired Army captain. I did two deployments to Iraq. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder shortly after my second deployment. I would explain PTSD to somebody who's never heard of it or experienced it as losing color from your world. There's no joy, there's no happiness. At first, I just had trouble sleeping, but that wasn't new to me. The anxiety got worse, the paranoia got worse, the anger got worse, and then I lapsed into a horrible depression. The wounds of war are both visible and invisible. When the individual is actually suffering from uh, an internal wound, they're not only suffering with themselves, but if they're going back into their family or work environment, they're impacted as well. And when the work environment or family environment is impacted by the, the psychological wounds of distress and the neurological wounds that are there, the society at large is impacted. So many things were really actually pretty scary. When he came back, he didn't seem to be in control of his emotions. In turn, I didn't feel very much in control. We didn't have any recourse. I didn't know what to do. I tried alternative medicine because I was desperate. I've tried yoga, I've tried massage, I've tried EMDR, uh, I've used biofeedback machines, I've got acupuncture. In the real scope of what would be best for a patient, it's ideal to integrate both approaches. Looking at what would be most effective for that patient, looking at it both from a conventional way and also from, an, from a complementary and alternative medicine way. This empowers them with the skill sets, and it also helps them decrease their dependency on medication and provider visits, and then ultimately it also helps reduce costs. Dr. Nisha Money spent years as a practicing physician in the U.S. Air Force and became the Surgeon General's Chief of Air Force Fitness. But her approach to healing both soldiers and civilians has always integrated non-Western medicine, like the centuries-old practice of acupuncture. Acupuncture actually stimulates these different energy center points in the body that has access to different organs and different muscle groups in the body. But the organ that fascinates Dr. Money the most is the brain, and what happens to it in modern combat. When the IEDs blow up or when the, 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 the Humvees are actually, you know, hit, hitting a bomb, repeatedly exposed to blast injuries. So it's causing the brain to actually bounce back and forth a little bit in the skull. And when you have enough of that happening, it's causing some brain damage. Traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder often go hand in hand. But Dr. Money says there has long been a stigma in the military around seeking mental health help compared to treating physical wounds. That is starting to change, and Dr. Money wants to reach even more vets with a holistic approach. It not only expands my toolbox as a physician, but it expands the patient's toolbox in ways that they can help themselves. Conventional treatments are having their limitations in healing our veterans. Complementary and alternative medicine methods are really helping. Veterans are seeking out these alternatives that also come with less side effects and are often less expensive and also becoming extremely empowering for them. Dr. Nisha Money, a military veteran herself and a former U.S. Air Force flight surgeon, also specializes in preventative and holistic medicine. She's treating veteran patients with amazing results using a holistic, mind-body-spirit approach. Additionally, she has taken it outside of the medical hospital setting and has created holistic healing retreats for veterans in a community-based location with fellow veterans in an optimal natural healing environment. Modalities that are now incorporated include acupuncture, yoga, performance therapy, shamanism, equine therapy, canine therapy, art and drama therapy, natural spirit therapy, storytelling, and herbal supplements. She also provides mind-body-spirit techniques tailored specifically for each veteran, catering to their needs along with healing within a group. The pull of the future is stronger than the push of the past. This week brought me back to myself. I got my soul back. <laughs> it provided more healing than I could have hoped for. Um, I got a, a sense of balance and the spiritual connection with the earth and meeting all the other uh, veterans. Just having that, uh, that love was so healing. I met Dr. Money at another retreat and she's awesome, just awesome. Not only did she come in as an angel, she brought a whole platoon of angels. Uh, I got hope and faith. It was renewed. 
I have absolutely seen the amazing positive impact that CAM has had with my husband. They are not the second option, they're not the last option, they're absolutely your first line of defense.